Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the Done Wisdom Morning Show. I am Melissa P. Dunn. I'm the CEO of MD Marketing Network and the founder of this Done Wisdom movement, where we introduce you to entrepreneurs, professionals, and community leaders who are getting it done. I also share with you some tips uh, that will support you in moving your brand and your life forward. Um, today, I'm actually going to put on my marketing hat and share with you seven tips that you can use to grow your brand, seven marketing ideas specifically. Now, um, I've been doing the show for a couple of months now, and I think this is the first time that I've actually um, chosen to give some successful marketing tips. So please do comment and let me know how you like it. If you haven't already done so, be sure to like, follow, or subscribe to the show. And of course, as always, share the love, share the content so other folks can grow as well. So let's dive right in, shall we? All right. So, um, there we go. Now, marketing, I love this quote. <laughs> it says, marketing tell the world that you're a rock star. And content marketing actually shows the world that you are one. Um, you know, marketing is meant to be a lead generation tool, something that really shares your story in a way that really connects with your audience in a way that um, inspires them to take action. The action could be for them to, you know, subscribe to your mailing list or the action could be actually for them to buy your product or your service. Right. But I do want to make a distinction between marketing and sales. Marketing tells your story, generates the lead and then sales close the close the deal, right? So that the, the actual sales can happen um, and you, you'll generate the content, generate the money, and they really go hand in hand. So if you have a brick and mortar business, it's so important for your sales team and your marketing team to work together. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, and you are it, <laughs> then I, I want you to spend some time and make sure that you absolutely generate a marketing plan as well as a sales plan okay two separate approaches and perhaps I'll, I'll do something for you on sales or or invite an expert to come on and share some sales tip so let's dive right in seven marketing ideas let me um make that larger so that if you want to take a screenshot now would be the time to do it um, so the free, the first idea is for you to, um, plan a free webinar. Now, listen, we are in a digital age, right? Since COVID's happened, everything has moved online. So if you are not on the online space right now, you are absolutely missing out. You're cheating yourself from communicating with your audience in such an amazing way um, and really uh, expanding your reach so that you could potentially meet people from all over the globe, right? So creating a free webinar, I think, is a good first step. There are a lot of tools that you can use to do that. You can use Zoom. You can even use StreamYard. Quite frankly, you could even do a webinar on Facebook Live. Right. But the key is for you to make sure that you are offering content that positions you and your company as an expert in the space, whatever space you play in. You've got to offer content that that positions you as an expert and you have to offer content that people want to know about. OK, that's so important. And one way that you can find out is ask them, ask your community, ask your 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 customers, join a Facebook group where your audience lives and pose a question and see what kind of response that you get. But offer a free webinar and, and really make sure that it is the content is relevant, that it solves a pain point 
and that you are capturing those leads. You're capturing those email addresses and cell phone numbers. And in doing so that you have an opt-in statement um, that gives you permission to market to the attendees in the future. Very, very, very important. Um, second is publish a book. Self-publish a book. Now, listen, I know that sounds really daunting. Um, when I first thought of the idea myself, it sounded really daunting. Um, but there are a lot of tools that you can use to help you to get that done, right? You can do an ebook. An ebook is not really all that complicated. It doesn't take a whole bunch of um, writing to do, but develop an ebook, develop a checklist, develop some sort of content that you can put out as a lead magnet to get you email addresses and cell phone numbers, right? So people who are joining you on Facebook, they're following your page or on Instagram, they're following your page, great. But guess what? When they subscribe and actually click to download a piece of content from you, that means that they want to hear about you. That means that they want what you have to offer. And they just really um, need to start getting to know you so that they can feel comfortable to purchase from you in the future. All right. So self-publish a book. There are a lot of, um, well, one tip I'm going to share with you is you can actually get white label content, right? You can get white label content. You don't necessarily have to be the one to write that ebook on, on taxes or to write that ebook on how to, um, you know, lose 50 pound in one year. There are a lot of tools on the internet that provide white label content. So you don't even have to de develop it yourself. You just need to customize it to your audience. And of course, customize it with your branding, all right? So that's idea number two. Idea number three is launch your own online talk show. The Done Wisdom Morning Show is the perfect example of that. This show is an example of an online talk show. And we stream live on YouTube. We stream live on Facebook. Um, sometimes I stream on my personal page. Sometimes I stream um, only on the Done Wisdom Morning Show page. We could even stream live on LinkedIn if we wanted to. Over 10 platforms that you can use to stream live. This is an amazing opportunity for us because what it's done for me, number one, I started this show potentially in the beginning just to have something to do at the beginning of the pandemic, a way for me to stay connected with people. But let me tell you what this online talk show has done already for me and for my personal brand. Number one, every guest that came on this show are someone that I was able to to support somebody that I was able to, to um, help promote their brand, help promote their message. And, and so now I have established a relationship with these individuals. And I've had over a hundred guests on this show since we launched in March. Um, and you know, that's, that's a mailing list. That's a relationship with a hundred people, right? Um, that's number one. Number two, it's really positioned me as an expert. A lot of you know that I ran for office um, um, and was recently elected to the Lauderhill City Commission seat number two. And I have to tell you, um, having this show helped with my personal brand, not just um, for Melissa P. Dunn, the marketing expert and the success coach, but also the candidate. Uh, number three, this has been an amazing opportunity for me to feed uh, the women who are in my Women Getting It Done Facebook group, giving them original content, right? Um, and so this is an amazing way for me to position my personal brand as well as my professional, um, professional brand. Um, plus, one of my clients, I mean, you know, I, I have an advertising agency that before the pandemic, we did a whole lot of events. And so you can just imagine how much business um, I lost as a result of the closure. And so one of my clients saw me doing this show and actually asked me to host a online show for them every week. So in essence, it showed my clients 
something else that we can do for them. And at MD Marketing Network, through my collaboration with um, Natasha Wright, the Diamond Butterfly, we are actually now producing online talk shows for clients. And in addition to that, we have created a online show, I'm sorry, an online course that teach other people how to launch and create their own online talk show, right? So that's what this platform has done for my business. And if you want to learn how to do that for yours, um, type the word yes in the comments and we'll make sure that we get you some information so that you can learn how to do this for yourself. And idea number four is to launch your own podcast, right? Now, the cool thing about this show and the StreamYard platform that we use is that I can actually download the audio from this content and launch it as a podcast and as an online talk show. Plus, I can repurpose the content, use it as a blog, right? Um, I can chop up the segments put it out on social media. There's so much that I can do with this show and I can monetize it, right? I can get sponsors. I can um, get advertisers. I just haven't decided yet to make that move, but an online talk show and a podcast is really a very powerful way to position yourself as an expert and to grow your professional as well as corporate brands. I strongly recommend that you consider doing both. Idea number five, start a contest. Listen, I love contests, particularly for folks who are looking to grow their social media presence. There are apps that you can use to run contests where people can get points for following you on social media or for sharing your content or for regist registering for your next virtual events, right? There are contest management apps that you can use to do that. And you run a contest and then you give away a book or you give away a free, um, you know, one hour consultation, or you give away a free trip. It really depends on you and it depends on the type of business that you run, right? But a contest is an amazing way for you to also position your brand and it's a low cost solution. Get a book that you know is great for the space. I mean, you can run a contest and give away President Obama's book. Give away a bundle with President Obama's book and um, Michelle Obama's book and journal, run a contest for that. I'm sure people would be happy to follow you on social media or take action in any other way that you want um, for a chance to win free book. People love free things, right? So do a contest. That was That's a really great low cost idea. Another thing that you can do is you can start an affiliate program, right? And, and affiliate marketing is, I think, a great intersection between sales and marketing, right? So for example, let's say that you are a online, um, let's say that you, you have an e-commerce business and you sell, um, I don't know, for lack of a better idea, let's say that you sell candles, right? then you can create an affiliate program where people who have, um, you know, people can, can send out your link in order for them to get like a, um, in order for them to get a commission on the products that they're helping you to sell. Right. And all you give up is a certain percentage. There are again, apps and um, programs that can help you streamline the affiliate process so that it's really simple. People sign up, you give them the link, and then they start promoting your link. That's a really great way for you to use influencers to promote your product. Give them an affiliate link, give them a code, make them, you know, help them help you sell your products. Um, idea number seven is create a joint venture. Now, joint venture, I think is great. I have joint ventures with um, a couple of agencies. You know, my company 
MD Marketing Network, we are a small full service advertising agency that specializes in cause marketing um, as well as um, healthcare marketing, right? So we only do product, we only work on projects that we believe will impact lives or transform communities. So I am consistent across the board with my own core values. And what I've done is I formed joint ventures. Joint venture partners for me include like um, forward PR or uh, a better concepts PR, right? So I have business where even though I am a publicist, there are certain parts of PR work that I prefer not to do myself. So I instead form joint partnership with these two ladies so that um, you know, they can do that part of the work. And when they have um, someone who wants the parts of marketing that I enjoy, they bring me to the table for the media buys and for the advertising and the video production, they bring me to the table. And so we've created a joint venture um, so that small businesses together actually form a large agency and then we can go after government contracts together. You, you see how that works? Right. So look for people who complement your business and create joint venture partnerships. So if you're a restaurant and there's a there is a nail salon down the street from you, why don't you consider doing a joint venture campaign with that nail salon? They have customers who come in there to do their nails that I'm sure would love to eat at your establishment. So figure out how you guys can support each other, right? Maybe, uh, maybe they can offer your menu to their customers. Maybe you can set up some sort of program that when the people from the nail salon comes to your restaurant to eat, they get like a discount or they get a free something, right? So think about how you can leverage the marketing but the marketing budgets of your joint ventures in order for you to grow your own business, in order for you to position your own brand. Listen, the name of the game is telling your story and telling your story in a way that connects really well with your audience. And so in this day and age when marketing budgets are being cut because of COVID, it's very important for you to find creative, low cost strategies that will get you in front of your right audience. Right. So I hope that these tips really supported you. I hope that these tips really, um, really helped you. And I have not been paying attention to the. Um, so let's let's say good morning to some folks. All right. Good morning, Sister Wiley. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Mom, as always. Hey, Miss Portia. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Oh, yes. Inauguration day. I hope you guys are going to watch at 12 o'clock. Um, I'm going to be at City Hall today, but I have a TV in my office. So, you know, I will be watching for sure. Good morning. Good morning. I think that's someone from the done, um, Women Getting It Done Facebook group. I can't see who you are, but I want to say good morning to you as well. And yes, Miss Portia. All right. Fantastic. Okay, Portia, so we will make sure, I see you typed in yes. So we'll make sure that we share with you the how to, the, how to access that online course about creating your own online show and podcast. All right, you guys, I hope that these tips really supported you. This was my first time talking about marketing stuff. I'm normally um, wearing my success coach hat but I know that a lot of you are looking to launch and or grow your brand. And I really hope that this supports you. So be well, have a great day. Remember, I'll be back here again on Friday at 9 a.m. with another Lot of Hill Business Spotlight. Until then, remember, be kind and loving to yourself, okay? You absolutely 100% deserve it. And if you haven't already done so, please, please, please like, follow, share, subscribe, share the content. Be well.